All right, hey YouTube, this is Seven Six Gip. Um, today uh, I'm gonna make a video um, on trying to get a clownfish to host a sea anemone. As you can see, I got these pictures all along my tank. These two right here, and I got one right here, and on the other side as well. Um, right here. Um, I had a. Uh, I got a new pair of clowns just this week. Um, the old pair I traded in at the local fish store because, um, well, I had uh, ended up with two female clowns and that wasn't a good thing. Um, so I wanted to get a pair of a male and female. So I went and uh, I traded in one. Because one clown was already hosting, so I thought I'd get a small one, which is the little bitty one right back here, right here. I got him, and the one that I currently had was really, really aggressive towards him. And I was really scared that, you know, he was going to kill him and hurt him. So I said, you know what, I'm going to have to take him back too and just get another clown. And so what? that's what I did, and... Um, these two guys paired off really good, no fighting, no aggression towards each other. Um, the only difference is with my old pair of clowns, one of the females would host my rose bubble tip anemone. And the problem with the other two was that the other clown would not let the other clown inside the anemone. Which, you know, I personally did not like that. You know, I see that two clowns should pair up and both host the anemone so that's what came to the conclusion that I had to you know I'm gonna have to do something I cannot have any of that with two females I'm gonna have to get a new pair of clowns so that's what I did but these two clowns are perfect they they're, they're no aggression they're swimming together only problem is they're not hosting like the old pair did so what I'm going to try to do today is, by the end of the day, get these guys to host a sea anemone. Um, I've been doing this picture trick because I, I found it here on YouTube and off the internet. You know, me personally, I didn't believe it would work. I still don't believe it would work, and it's pretty much showing that it doesn't work. You know, um, so you guys thinking, does the picture of the clownfish hosting a sea anemone work? Me? I'm saying no, and it's proving it right now, because these pictures have been up all day, clownfish seen it, um, no interest to in the anemone, so I'm going to go to uh, a new idea, and I've done this, this trick that I'm about to do, um, I've done it before in the past with other pairs of clownfishes that I've had, is get yourself a bucket. You get yourself a bucket with, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. I got two buckets right here. But you put two clowns in here. You get your sea anemone. Put an air stone. Air stone will keep the water moving and the oxygen. And put those in there. Put those guys in there with the clowns. Uh, leave them in there for about, I'd say, an hour or until the clowns start hosting. Um, you know. Uh, the, the, so the clowns start hosting or uh, until an hour, you know, just you got to try it, try it and try it. Um, I've had successful with this method. Um, I've done it several times, but I've never posted it on YouTube. And I said, well, you know what? This is my chance. I think I'm going to finally uh, record this procedure and put it on YouTube. But um, I'm, let me catch these fish and get the anemone and find a smaller bug because that anemone stuck to this rock and I'm gonna have to find a a bucket or a big container that can carry this big rock because I'm not gonna stress out that anemone and try to pull him off the rocks he's been there since on that rock in the same spot since I got him so no intentions on taking him off gotta catch the clowns and when I catch the clowns and have the anemone in a separate container I will get back to y'all uh, this is 7-6 sign out um, I'll be back with the part 2 Peace.